Player Supreme Show brought to you by PlayerSupreme.info And I'm your host, Player Supreme. You said no, Seven no, Steps no, has a lot of information in it? A lot of information that's all put together. I think in fact that, you know, it's in there. Oh, good. It seems like it's... That was my exact thoughts. Uh, what was that, Nick? That was my exact thoughts. There was a lot of stuff in there. And seven steps. Good. Good. Yeah. Glad you guys like it. Okay, we're slowly starting. If you guys could, everybody mute your mics. Somebody's got a real loud mic. Yeah. That was you. That was my mic? Yeah. Okay. Let me turn down a little bit. And... Everybody mute your mics because I'm going to uh, talk for a few minutes. So I've got some uh, emails to, to uh, go over. So let's go to the email right now. Let's see. First of all, I want to welcome you guys to the conference call. And as you come in, make sure your mics are muted. There's Solomon. Make sure you mute your mics. We're going to go over the emails that uh, have come in, and then we'll, ask, we'll get to the questions section. So Juzu has one saying odd things have been happening. So last week I met this friend of mine, spent a few days with him, and when I left the city I felt some kind of switch in me. Odd things happened after that, like my focus and determination has been better. I had headaches daily on the right side of my brain. I've started feeling sick in my throat when I'm around people who are on some show how off, show off stuff he's trying to say. It's like, like what the fuck is it? Basically, Juzu, you become more sensitive to negative people, and they kind of turn you off. And that's why you want to make more positive friends. You either have friends come from your from their lower uh, uh, point of view, or they come from the higher point of view. Lower people, they're always negative to be around, and I tend to not want to be around those types. Instead, make people come from the higher uh, perspective who are who want to motivate you and push you forward. Uh, next email is Megadomic. He says, "I got to say, Supreme. Sometimes I I'm surprised how much nice guys." get the short end of the stick. I just watched a video of a woman who divorced her husband for being too nice. The man cooked for her, cleaned, took care of her three kids, who, which did not even come from him, pretty much treated her like a queen, and she still wasn't satisfied. However, she wasn't able to come up with not a single reasonable excuse as to why she wanted to leave him. That's that nice guy syndrome, isn't it, mm-hmm. Jovina? Yeah. yeah. With me is Jovina. She'll be answering questions also. Uh, let's go on to the next one. Para Rise is saying, what's up, player? I've been getting great eye contact lately, the kind you call getting hit with a brick. But it's always in a situation in which it would be difficult to approach. For example, a girl breaking her neck to look on a bus, uh, but on a seat that, that's far, or another one during a workshop full of other people every two seconds, bam, blue, blue eyes were on mine. Okay, you sound like you're full of fear. If you're in a situation, just step up. Walk over and see how far that interest goes. That's all you got to do, Pararize. That's what you've got to do to get overcome this issue that you're going to keep having again and again. It's going to keep showing up in your life until you conquer it. So start approaching these girls who are giving you eye contact. You'll see that it goes away. Well, it goes away. Your the, the trouble you're having goes away. More eye contact will come, but the trouble you're having will go away. Okay? And the meds mentioned something about that would be really creepy. No. It's not creepy to go over and talk to a girl, okay? That's your, your, your programming to where they program you think it's creepy to just go talk to a girl, and it's not. It's not, okay? All right, question on sex. Make sure everybody get in as they come in. Okay, I think we're okay. Look, nope, we got a brother trying to get in. Let's add him to the group call. Uh, call me Ishmael. Make sure you mute your mic. Total silence, please. Okay, next is Mighty Bex. Uh, when I'm having sex with a woman, I don't have a problem lasting because my dick is not very sensitive. I can last for hours if I choose to. I know I can give a few women orgasms, but here's my problem. I don't feel anything with my dick. Even when a woman gives me head, I do not feel a thing. And I have to force myself to come at the end when she's had enough. Some like using condoms. I did some research and found out it's because I was masturbating re- very rough back in the days and killed some of my nerves. I read a few articles on how to get sensitive again. My question is, should I make my dick more sensitive so I can... Yes, you should. If you found out how to correct the problem, go ahead and correct the problem, Mighty Fix. 
Who wants to have Dan Vic? All right, now, this one is just spam. Let's go ahead and mark that as spam. Get them reported. I don't know the spammers, man. Uh, make sure your, your mic's muted. I heard someone sniff. All right, next one. Dance dude, the player supreme. I want to say you pretty much gave me my first girlfriend. Everything you taught and prepared me for through your programs comes out to light with her. Unfortunately, there are some mistakes I've made that I want to excuse myself for, but I'll man up to them, LOL. I'll do my best to summarize. I don't even know where to begin. A lot of activities we did together, I could tell, were tests. Uh, I've been testing her, too. For example, she invited me to a salsa dancing with her, and even though uh, it looks like it's going to be a long, drawn-out thing, let's see if we can scroll down to the end. And just a side note, the game is real. Even though I'm still just developing myself, I'm able to learn as I go. So it looks like he's, he's, uh, he's learning how to handle women, being in a relationship with women. And there's going to be some ups and downs out there, but it's something you got to learn eventually, how to handle your women. And that's what Dan Student is going through. Uh, as you guys know, he's one of the, the listeners, and he got out there and got his first girlfriend. Good for him. All right. Flint SL. Hey, Supreme, I'd just like to say firstly that I think your videos are very encouraging and inspirational. Keep up the good shit. Anyways, I've got a query. Okay there, Flint. There's this girl I met at a club the other night. We kissed for a while, and she gave me loads of hints that she was interested. She included compliments, saying I smelt good, etc. She even asked me if I had a girlfriend. She wasn't drunk either. We left the club together. I made her laugh and kissed her goodbye. My question is, why didn't you take her go home and fuck her? I got her number as well. Numbers don't mean shit. It's getting a pussy that means something there. Flint S. L. So I text her in the evening afterwards with a quite simple message, nothing goofy at all. A few days have passed now. She hasn't responded. Is this girl just a total mindfuck, or is she genuinely inter not interested? Although I'll be fine, and well, if she's not interested, I'd appreciate your thoughts on this and some tips on texting after getting the number. Cheers, mate. Ah, booby dada, mate. No, that's, that's Australia. Cheers, mate. And pass the gray poupon. Shout out from London. Uh, let's see. Here's my read on the situation. Jovina might have a different one, but you should have boned that first night. I think she was looking for some sex. She, she put out for you. But you didn't, you didn't give her the goods. That's the way I see it. So she got bored. She's going to some other, another male that's got to be more, a little bit more aggressive than you, obviously. She might call, return your call in a day or so. Don't get all emotional because they don't call you right back that very day. Okay, you're low on her totem pole. You're low on her list. You didn't steal the good. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't get the pussy. You didn't give her some dick. She, the girl wants some dick, so you kind of let her down there. So she'll call you back when she feels like it. What's your take on that? Yeah, she Jovina? probably wasn't sure how interested you were, especially since you didn't ask. You didn't try to escalate. Home with you. Yeah. yeah. So next time, just go for it. I mean, if she, if you kissed her and she let you do that, yeah, that's it. That's like it. That's let's go home. Fuck. If you make it out a chick, that's it. There's nothing else. Agreed. Nothing else. All you have to do is say, let's, let's go. Let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. All right, next. She cried during sex. What the fuck? I hate criers. <laughs> I had one that I... Uh. What's up, Supreme? I have a lot I want to tell you about how you helped me. Was on your site a few years ago when I was weak. It didn't have much going on for myself. Haven't been on it in a while, but I'm coming back soon since I'm back in the game. Now I'm a senior in college, have my own business, competing in a lot of strength and endurance events, and I am in Toastmasters. Yeah, that's a brother that, that did the fucking program. This email is about a chick I met off of POF. But you get emotional over a bitch off of POF, brother. Uh, personal trainer in Los Angeles. Yeah, that's, uh, that's game. Finally made a POF profile last week. Hope you did a good job at it. Set my traps, like you said, and 10 minutes after completing it, a fish bites. Let me put uh, game into the call here real quick there, fellas. Uh, game, turn your mic all the way down, please. Turn your mic all the way down. We're right in the middle of uh, the show. Thank you. All right, so he's saying, um, uh, we met, and she's fucking gorgeous, but I'm not distracted by that. I'm taking an actual interest in her. 45 minutes in, I'm not really feeling a good vibe, so I end it and take my ass to go to a train. She contacts me the next day, tells me she had a good time, 
At this point, since I know she's choosing us, say, fuck it, I'll meet her again. On Friday, she comes to the gym to work out with me. We get ice cream afterwards. Not the best. We got another call coming in. Uh, J.O., mute your mic. We're right in the middle of something. Okay, let's go on. Sorry about that. To the listeners who will be hearing this later on. Okay, so they uh, go to get some ice cream. We had a great conversation at this point. I'm actually interested in her now on a deeper level than just physically. Fast forward to today. I met her last Tuesday, but today is Monday, so exactly a week. While at work, I text her, bake me some cookies. She texts back, say please. I never respond because I'm not begging a bitch for nothing. Later this evening, she texts, I'm baking your cookies now. After leaving the gym, I go over to get my cookies with no intention of having sex because I'm sweaty and and musty as fuck. And I think that's what I wanted to say. However, we end up having sex. What you write me about, brother? This ain't nothing to complain about. All right. Make sure you mute your mics when you come in. About five minutes in, she bursts out crying. Ah, that's what it was. I immediately stopped. Basically, she is upset because... She has only known me a week, and she's giving it up already. <laughs> did I just laugh? I did. Shame on me. <laughs> I try to take the blame away and have her put it on me, telling her it's my... That's what you want to do. I'm going to start kissing you first. Yeah, when they feel guilty, just just uh, ease them over that whole guilt thing. That's her, her wanting you to think she's a good girl. You know, she, she still, you know, gave you some sex. You came over in your gym outfit, your body was, you know, you give up them pheromones. Bitch couldn't handle it, brother. Field report. Central touch. Sup Supreme, first allow me to thank you for that red pill, brother. I'm unplugged from the Matrix and a free soul. I now understand what you mean by becoming it. Because of this, I have embarked on a journey of self-discovery. I joined Toastmasters. Yeah, Central touch. Took up a career education in masonry. Good, good. Buffed it up, got me a car, a house, and I meditate daily. Damn, that's cute. That's what I'm talking about. I want my guys to do. And this brother's doing it. Supreme, you once touched on the power in holding back on that man juice. I tried it. It's been two weeks of fucking without climaxing, man. Oh, don't. Okay. Um, mute the mics. Mute your mic. Whoever that is, before I drop you from the call, let's see whose mic is on. Whosever mic is is uh, live, uh, I suggest you mute that before you get dropped from the call. There's quite a few people in here too. Okay, let's see if we can find the motherfucker. I can't see which one it is. Somebody say something. Everybody say something at once. Aha. Uh -huh. So it might be a Raji. Let's see. Let me continue this. Uh, it breaks, let's see. Supreme Touchman wants the power holding back. It breaks me down bad, but on the other hand, it gives me this mental power and strength. Marcus, meet your mic. That's you that's doing that. No, I see Solitaire D. He just popped up. Okay, anyway, I'm sharper, aggressive in things that I do, and of late I don't place emphasis on the pussy. Question, could you please explain more on the subject? Is there any source where I can read more on the subject? You are appreciated big time. And um, I, I don't suggest you do that while you're with a woman, okay? Because that's what it's for. That's what sex is for, your enjoyment. Don't... Um, Ah, right, it is the Raji. Okay. Sorry, Raji, I got to drop you, man. Well, I gave him a chance. Uh, who else? The mic is on. Uh, let's see. You are preaching big time. So, anyway, do that during the exercises when you're trying to develop your ability to last. That's what you want to do. All right, repimping, start a hoe. We're almost done here, fellas. I got three women on my team, two fat chicks who are great for sex, and one better-looking main girl. I'm trying to repimp one of those two by telling I would like her to lose some weight, apply some more makeup, and dress more womanly. Uh, Robert, 
Okay, here's the problem. Uh, let's see. She takes those remarks as insults. It tells me I should accept her as she is. I wonder how you, did you convince them back? I, I'm a personal trainer, and I know how to approach the subject gently. You might come from a more cerebral type of thing and tell a bitch, hey, you know what, you're, you're kind of fat. I think you need to lose some weight. And then wear some better clothes. No, I, I learned how to approach it gently, okay, very gently. Let's see, Sex, sexual relations at work. I'll keep this short as short as possible. I've worked for a corporation for almost a year. This is from Jamie is not available. It's my first job. I'm 20 years old. A woman in her mid-late 30s has sexual interest in me and is DTF, what does that mean, disease, trouble-free or something. I reject her because we work on the same floor and felt others would gossip about it. Good for you. You actually made a right decision because this is actually one of my pet peeves. Jamie is not available. I hate when guys fuck chicks at work. It really fucks with my... Don't fuck girls at work. Just don't fuck girls at work. I feel I made the right decision. I'm looking for your confirmation you did the right thing. Because where there's smoke, you might get fired, and a job is hard to replace. Women can take you to the, take you to fucking court. They can sue the company. All right. Real quickly, the captain, he says, Supreme, you were right about the gender role switching and how women nowadays are more masculine and have more testosterone in them. I never thought I would see this happening, but women nowadays are growing beards. Here's an article on it. And he gives an article of women who are actually growing facial hair. Uh, Jews who's back saying, serious kind of girl, hey, Supreme, I went on a first date like I talked to you about last Saturday. It all went fine. I kept the conversation one and a half hours. Wow, he's so precise. One and a half hours. I just talked about her in psychology, uh, what she's studying, and she is very interested in her future places, and she liked to visit. Good. I could have talked even longer. Good. It was my first date I've ever had, so it troubled me a bit. Don't be troubled by it. Don't be troubled by it. That was your first date. Congratulations, Juzu. Uh, set my attitude right, telling me bitches are bitches and I can grow from this, you did a good thing. You enriched her life by digging into her, 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 her life story, getting what she's interested in. You did a damn good thing there, Juzu. I've been texting her for some time. What I notice is that every time I try to crack a joke or at least have a little bit of humor, she gets mad. I wouldn't stay with the jokes then. If jokes ain't working for you, and I've seen, you know, your communication style here, Juzu, so I definitely would say don't do it, okay? Just try to, don't be too serious, don't be, Try to make jokes, all right? That's my personal advice to you. All right, this is from a nerd. Sorry, but his, his he has no name. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 5, 9, 0. That's a nerd name right there. The first thing you want to do is get yourself a better screen name, uh, Numbers. What do you, we're going to call you Numbas, N-U-M-B-A-S. Hello, player. I've been following you since August 2012. With all honesty, I... Truly think you are the best tutor in the game. And then he gives me a goddamn compliment. Thank you very much. I learned a great deal of truth from you, and I have been applying your manly code of conduct. This is the last email, by the way, fellas. In almost every aspect of my life, I have become a different person. I wish I could know who's, whose mic is not muted so I can drop it. Player, I am a 23-year-old Asian man. I have little to no problem attracting women, as long as that woman isn't Caucasian. I want to know what is your opinion is on this issue. As sure as I've had some white girls who find me attractive, but they're like seven out of a hundred at most. Why is that? Um, also, he says, Jovina criticized me also. Okay. Hi there. No. I suspect this happens because I am not white. That's true. You're 100% white about that. Did I say white about that? I said white about that. <laughs> Play a word there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I suspect my looks could be one of the major factors as well. If you have time, would you be willing to analyze my looks? Have you still going to criticize me also? Player, what you say means a lot. Okay, Leonard. Um, you got to understand that white women want to date white men. They want to have little white babies so they grow up to be little white adults. They rarely do they want to date outside their race. Okay? That's what you got to understand. The best thing for a white woman is a white man. The best thing for an Asian man is an Asian woman. The best thing actually for a black man is actually a black woman. It's too bad it's fucked up between relationships and black folks, but that's in the story. Okay? Because she will have to face, like, social prejudice, uh, her parents looking at her, her church, all these problems she has to overcome in order to date outside of her race. So respect the 7 out of 100 for being uh, enlightened individuals. 
That's about what it is out there. I, for me, it was like 5%. If I go to a venue, 100 chicks in it, white chicks in it, about 5 out of the 100 are going to be feeling me. Okay? If I go to a, an all, a black event where they want black dudes, then the, I get a higher majority of, of the women that will be feeling me. So find where, where white women go that want to meet Asian males. And use that on, in, in that dating. There are uh, Asian male dating sites or Asian dating sites they'll go hunt on also. All right? Okay, let's go ahead and open up to questions. And we've got a, uh, about 40 minutes. Go ahead and unmute your mics. What's up, Supreme? Jovino? This is the game. What's cracking, game? Not much, brother. Just finally caught you on this motherfucker, man. It's been a long time. Yes, it has. I see you've lost a credible lot, amount of weight there. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that's an old picture, man. Uh, right now I'm about 200. I recently joined Krav Maga doing the yoga. So doing more of that martial arts thing, you know. I'm not really trying to be super buff. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. So any questions there, fellas? Hey, hey, let me start off, Supreme. Um, yes. And this one's not really relating to women, per se, but it's more about the area of fear. You know, I've, no, I've noticed that uh, oh, yeah. I've been having a lot of fear around authority, meaning, like, if you were to say something, my heart will start racing for me to speak up to you. How, how do you overcome that? Because I noticed that it's been affecting my life. You know, with women, okay, it's cool. You know, they're choosing, so you know you're kind of in the clear. But how about with everybody else? You know, um, if you heard someone say, put your hands up, you will feel that fear, right? Because mm -hmm. you know it's the cops. And unfortunately, as minorities, we got it in tr ingrained in us to fear authority, like the government, the cops. And what you have to, to do to overcome it is to start looking at what they do. Because I think you're talking about, you know, authority figures, fear of authority right. figures. Yeah. you got to actually look at what they actually really do. Like cops, they do a lot out there. Uh, I, I respect good officers out there that, you know, do a good job, that do try to protect people that they serve. The ones that recognize they're there they're as, as uh, public servants. Uh, so by finding a lot of respect in what they do, it, it kind of took away my fear of cops also. Well, I still get you know, afraid when they pull, they start following me around, like I had one following me around the other day, but, uh, you know, because, you know, why are you following me around? But outside of that, you know, I, I, I actually talk to cops when they come to coffee shops now um, by, you know, appreciating what they actually do. That's what helped work for me. Now, I am coming out with a uh, program to handle fear. And right. we talk about, in the program, we we'll talk about, you know, you're coming from your lower self and your higher self. You're coming from your lower self and feeling loud the lower self to dominate you. That's your gremlin down there, loud to dominate you, all those words in your head. Absolutely. And, you know, I mean, and, and the reason yeah. I'm bringing this up is because as I'm approaching 30, I'm all like, God damn, you know, how, how the hell is it that I'm even approaching my peers uh, from a child's mentality, because that's how I feel, like a little kid that needs to cower and bow his head and, you know, say excuse me versus seeing somebody as my equal, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, part of that is also self-esteem that's wrapped up in there. But the main thing is is um, is being able to handle the fear. You have the lower, coming from the lower end of it, lower end whispers to you like, you know, you're not good enough, uh, Cops are going to arrest you. They're always looking at you. That's your that's your lower mentality speaking. And you want to raise yourself up to the high end. I'll let you know when that that stuff comes out. Uh, All I've right. Got, the I've, uh, yeah, I've got a couple more more lessons I want to put in there, and uh, I should be done in about another week. Uh, All next. right, awesome. Well, yeah, let me know uh, when the first out, and uh, I'll buy it, man. Okay. Uh, next next question, the fellas. Wild and wild. Kevin. I still have a handful of questions, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was wondering where do you get where do I go to find your active podcast at? Okay, my actual podcasts are actually on my site. Uh, there is a an old Lips and account that has about ninety seven shows on it. Have you found that one yet? Yeah, I've seen there was a link that it had there was I didn't get a chance to go into it, but it, it said that you had I'm assuming it was all your previous podcasts. But I was wondering where your active ones were. No, those yeah, those are old podcasts, but they're not part of my past shows episodes. If you want to get the uh, first year of stuff that I had, uh, go to uh, playersupreme.info forward slash past shows, I believe. 
Let me put a link here. There you go. That should do it. Otherwise, you can join my site, and it's five bucks a month. And I do, I try to do at least five podcast shows a week, unless I do like conference calls like this. Each podcast shows about fifteen minutes. Okay. Okay. Next question, because I don't see anyone else stepping up. Yeah, I got one. Okay, so I'll tell you what's cracking. Uh, yeah, it's a question for Jovina. Um. What kind of gene would you recommend, like, for a guy who's got, like, big muscular legs? What kind of genes cut? What kind of genes for okay. big leg guys? Okay, you need to go with a more relaxed fit. Uh, the thing with buying jeans nowadays, they have different cuts. They have the straight leg, they have the relaxed fit, and the boot cut, and so forth. So you yeah, because that's, that's what I have to buy. Maybe, maybe the straight cut. leg is, like, really tight along the quad area. Like, I do a lot of squats in the gym. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, um, and the, the thing is, different brands and different companies are going to make their cut of jeans to fit very differently, so you do have to try oh, a lot oh, before oh, you oh. find one that fits. Like, go with a relaxed fit, not loose. They're oh, called relaxed, a relaxed fit. Just relaxed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, next question, fellas. We've only got one, but I want to give everyone a chance. Okay. If nobody speaks up, then go ahead and jump in there. We've only got uh, we've got uh, thirty minutes. Uh, I don't have any pussy or anything. How do I explain work? Or how do you, what answer should I give to a girl not looking like Goober? Yeah, I know you saying your your podcast is not really your damn business, but at the same time you don't want to look like a fool. Okay, uh, I couldn't quite hear you because. Uh, Solomon, Solomon, mute your mic. I told him, get a girl, have a girl on the side. He's listening. Mm, I like it. Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry, Solomon, I had to drop you. Okay, so, what you question? Again? Uh, what kind of genes would you recommend for a guy who has a big leg? Uh, okay, so, again, no, I was saying that, saying that, uh, you know, about my weight situation, but the yeah. past years, I mean, I've had an apple and I just wanted to know, how do I explain it to a girl? I want to look like an idiot or a fool or a goober. But I know you also say it's not our damn business. Like, what type of answer should I give that doesn't make me look like an idiot? Uh, answer to what question? Like, you know, some some girls will ask, like, oh, uh, you know, have you had sex in the last year? You know, when was the last oh. time you had sex? And now it's been it's been quite a few years. Okay. 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 Keep it quiet, there, Solomon. All right. Well, you can. What I like to do is. Stress the truth a little bit. Say, you know, it, it's been a while for me. Uh, you ain't got to tell in a number of years, but just say, it's, it's just been a while for me. Uh, I've really been looking for Mrs. Wright. That's why I'm waiting so long. Just just kind of say it in a way that will make it look less of like anything weird or something going on. Make it look like it's your choice and yeah. my choice. Okay. Not because, yeah. yeah. That or you could kind of trick you off at sex and let her know that, yeah, last night. I don't go into detail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, next question. Uh, I have a question. Yes, I'll talk okay. to you in a while. What's cracking? Um, actually, um, I'm starting to see the stuff. Um, a lot of people are giving me choosing. Well, giving me choosing like when I go back home and everything. And, um, I guess what you're saying, I guess a little bit of that fear thing, because there's some, there's some bad looking girls looking at me. I was like, damn. And um, I guess I make the excuse of, you know, I got to get the weight off or something. You know, I got to get, you know, the weight off. And I, I, I ain't going to lie, I do have those tendencies of uh, fear, the fear shit, you know. So um, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get my mouthpiece better. I guess. I don't know. Okay. I'm not trying to make any gotcha. for myself. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this is what I want you to do, Solomon. Every time you don't approach, uh, record 50 push-ups. And your mantra is, I'm a man. As you go on the way up, as you're pushing up, say, I'm a man. When you get to around 40, your chest is going to be burning, and you're going to be screaming out, I'm a man. And that will, will trigger you into stepping forward next time. 
So the fear of having to do those goddamn push-ups again will help discipline you, self-discipline you. Okay? I'm not, I'm not fear of doing no push-ups. No, but fear of approaching. What? Fear of approaching. Fear of approaching. Oh. Uh, yeah. Hey, Solomon, uh, you could also do this. This is what's been working for me because now I'm actually uh, trying to approach nothing but what I consider 10. And make it a little game for you. I mean, Supreme gave you the, like, the approach 50 random per people. Well, hell, just approach 50 random, you know, hot tens or whatever you want to consider is hot. And don't give a damn whether they say hi or not. I, I guarantee you, man, like, I've approached, uh, let me look at my phone here. Okay, so far, I got like six, yeah, I got 64 approaches, bro. And let me tell you, man, over, over half of them, like, look past me like nothing and then you know some of them say hi and then some of them are friendly and you know what when they kind of diss you per se just say hey, take your laugh to yourself and be like all right but that didn't count you know and slowly but surely you'll you'll start how can i say uh getting out of your head because that's the problem we have we're in our heads too much caring what they're going to say and all that just go out there at random just say hello start off with hello and eventually ask them how they're doing and you know, and from there, you take it from there, man. I, and again, I'm approaching nothing but what I consider 10 because I feel it's time to step it up. Try that and just, you know, give it time, man. Let, let it work as magic. Eventually, uh, it, it will start fading away and become easier. And don't look at it as rejection as well, man, because I think that's what we fuck up. Oh, she rejected me and, you know, start crying and all that bullshit. So give it a go and let us know uh, what happens. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I got my I got my crew from um from me going to my next school. I got like two guys that are like in my crew, and uh, I tried to go to this uh this bar in Atlanta, the Buckhead Bar, and like <laughs> I tried to get in because I, I was a birthday for twenty one is in July, but well since I've been going to clubs, I been thinking I was I was twenty one, so I thought I could yeah. press my luck at the bars. So like literally, I was with my with my boy. I met at the club, and uh, we were going down. And like <laughs> before we even got in the club, some girl, good looking girls, like in the some SUV. She was like, "That's a sexy plaid." I was like, "What?" Is that? I was like, "Oh." I was like, "What?" Well, hey. Smile. And she's like, "I'm gonna see you at the in the in the bars." I'm like, "Mm-hmm. You will see me." And then I didn't get in the bars. But I was like, "Damn." And then, but, yeah. but you see, that's, that, that's you going into your head, man. Hey, just let it be. And also, I mean, it's pretty cool to uh, back up. me up or, yeah. you know, uh, kind of differently. Yeah. It's just I have my good Okay, hold up. Uh, yeah. What he said was... And, and, and the problem with going with your boys, man, I mean, it's cool. You're going to have fun. I mean, you yeah. said you met a dude in the club, man. So you can meet guys, that's you can meet fun. women, you know. But you're also going to uh, get stuck and want to meet their standards, man. So be careful with that. Try to try to fly solo, you know. And again, man, it doesn't need to be at the clubs. I try street game, bro. And just you know, try it everywhere. Sure, you'll be hoe chasing a little bit, but you're just trying to break this pattern of being in your head. Because well, even I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to hang with them because they know more about what's going on out there and around my area. So like, I'm a I'm a see what's going on because I didn't know where this place is at. So he was showing me. So I'm a, I am going to, I, I have never had that problem with like hanging with people because I, I've been going to the, since I got my car, I've been going to the club by myself. So that's sure. not a thing. Sure. It's, not, right. it's not a problem sure. for me at all. Then, then get used to losing them once you're in the club with them. Get, get used to losing them. Like lose yourself and the oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I already do that. So that's not a problem. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, it's just, okay. I have moments in there. Hold on my, there. Now I have this little. Solid. Hold on. Uh, James, you misunderstood him. He couldn't get into the bar. What was what he was saying? Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't get into the bar. Yeah. Like I, I like it was like literally on the street, and like people were like saying I look like. It's just like I just it, it was literally before I got into the bar. So you know. No, no. I, I, also, I, I get that part. Uh, hold on, yeah, hold on. I get you, man. I just want you to know. I want to get you out of your head because I know what you're going through, bro. Hold up, oh, game. Hey, do you, game. man? Do game. you? Game. Hold up. Also, Solomon, I don't want you to hold chase just yet. Okay, you're still learning how to do choosing signals, so that's where you're still at. You can't jump the level. I don't know it's becoming pretty obvious to me. Like, yeah, if, you got to uh, learn. I, I, I well, no, I wouldn't say that, but I can see like the strong stuff. Like, yeah, 
you know. Yeah, you want to make it little, easy. Think, you know what I'm saying? Easy. Little by little. Exactly. You want to make it easy. So you go for the girls that are choosing. You, you build your team. Then you get the confidence. Then you get to the top of your game. Okay, next question. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, like with all the podcasts you've been, like, I know you're working, you're working on your few stuff. Are you going to, are you going to make it like a separate product to help guys do their few in their life? Yes, yes I am. It will be a separate product, but it'll also be part of my coaching program. It's, I started off with it for the coaching program, but then I realized after I did that test, everybody's got that fucking problem. So I'm going to put it out there also. I'm uh, how, going how, everywhere. So like, and like how, like, how long will, will it be before it comes out? About another week. I'm on <laughs> lesson uh, 10 right now. Each lesson is a day. You've got a ton of exercises. It's like a super condensed uh, conference kick where you got, you know, you got to do a lot of writing, self-introspect. And, and then we're going to go into the physical part of it also. So my goal is to get you out of that. Teach how to deal with fear because fear never goes away. I'm a competent man, but I still got fear. Like the cops keep following me around and they flash lights on me, I'm going to feel fear. But knowing how to deal with fear is what I learn, have learned how to do. So if they flash lights on me, I know how to handle myself without getting all scary and shit. So what I'm going to give you is some tools to handle yourself so you can uh, come out on the top side of fear instead of letting fear dominate you. Okay, uh, next question. We've got uh, about 25 minutes. It's going good. Uh, wild and wild. You had a bunch of questions, so go ahead and ask. Okay. Um, for weight loss, how do we? How do I eat on a limited budget? You know, sometimes you 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 know you're short on some cash, and like, how do you? You know, because eating healthy is like three or four times more expensive than just going to Burger King a day. You know. That's a good question. I I can't really answer that one because I've always made enough money to support myself, but. Uh, we actually cut my our food budget way down because I eat the same thing every day except for dinner. I have I skip breakfast. I have coffee for breakfast. I have a hamburger patty for lunch with uh, some Melville toast, and then for dinner I either have chicken or I have uh, pork chops. Pork chops. Away. Pork chops. Yeah. So, yeah, he's lying a little bit. Yeah, yeah. With, the, with the salad. Also, okay. Uh, Jovina? Um, depending on how you go go grocery shopping, uh, if you go a little bit today and then two days later go buy more, you should buy enough during the week, in like in a two-week period of time. Buy enough for every two weeks or so and make sure that you kind of ration everything and say this is for two weeks and no, yeah. no exceptions. That way you will save money, too. She's really good at putting everything in little baggies. You know, like she buys hamburger meat, she makes the patty out three hand in four hands, puts it in a little baggie. Yeah, because my, my uh the calories that I need to be eating, I went to the nutritionist uh or not nutritionist, a dietitian, an actual legitimate medical doctor and my personal trainer that I had, buddy of mine. Um, I'm being told I need three thousand calories a day and then the personal trainer is saying I need to spike it up to four thousand calories a day. So uh, depends yeah. on your activity level. If you're not that active, uh, don't spike it up. If you, mm -hmm. uh, it's like we call your your weights in the low 300. So uh, if you want to lose well, my weight, and it's 506 right now, but I've lost 60 pounds so far. Uh, who's who's telling me that they're down to 300? I thought it was you. No. Okay. Well, uh, can I chime in? Uh, let me ask. Uh, how much do you weigh right now? Because I used to weigh 300 pounds, and I lost about 130 <laughs> pounds so far. Well, I weigh 506, but it felt like. It's more than a few months ago, I ended up, I was at 500, but I was having a lot of uh, physical problems in my joints and stuff, so I, you know, yeah. back off with working out. Gotcha. But I went back Damn. up to 535, so I, I'm back at it again, and I'm down to 506. Yeah, okay. you're, you're in a special situation, because I was going to tell you, I mean, you're going to rapidly lose the weight, but your body will get accustomed to, like, the calorie deficit. But, yeah, you're a little bit too big for me to tell you exactly what to eat, man. I mean, just keep mm -hmm. working at it, but, you know, budget, budget yourself, and eventually your body will get used to, like, eating a certain amount of calories. I mean, I, I wish I could just tell you more, but, yeah, that's a little bit uh, outside of my expertise. Okay, let me go ahead and finish then. Uh, the trainer was right about 4,000. That puts you in a calorie deficit of about 1,000 um, calories every day. So. 
it, over uh, about a few days' time, you'll lose a, one pound. So right now, your, your base metabolism needs about 5,000 calories to keep you the same. All you got to do is take your weight, add a zero to it. If you weigh 220, then you need 2,200 calories just to stay the same weight. If you want to lose a pound a week, you got to figure a way to reduce that by 3,500 calories. And that'll get you one pound of weight loss. So uh, losing up or eating up 4,000 calories a day at 500 pounds, you should lose about one pound in about three days. So every three days, you should lose a pound. Also, you want to increase your activity. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, always a matter of calories in versus calories out. That's what dieting is all about. Calories in versus calories out. You take in less calories than, than you burn off, and you will start losing weight. Yep. Looks like solitaire is outside. You want to take a phone call? Like doing uh, POF, uh, plenty of fish, um, just an online profile and stuff like that. Where would I go? Because I know you, you said Jovina also did um, consultations also. Yeah. For, you know, dress and all. So right. like being a big guy, it's hard to get, you know, find the right clothes. Yeah, I, I can only imagine. Uh, so your question was, that uh, solitaire's uh, mic too loud. So I'm having trouble hearing. Uh, what was your question, Wild and Wild? Kevin? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, did you guys did you hear what I said? Uh, you had a question? I, I didn't hear the question part of it. Oh, you want to call the station? Okay, good. All right. Oh, you're lagging. Okay. Uh, let me give you Jovina's web address. Yeah, I think it's free. I mean, can anybody else hear me? It's probably my computer. All right. Oh, call the address for men.com. There you go. Okay, next question. Yeah, well, uh, so you had some, somebody had a question about a, uh, your, your, you know, they were kind of having, I guess, called dead dick. But uh, how do you make your penis more sense without being a minimum? How do you make your penis more sensitive, you said? No, I'm going to have to uh, drop you there, bro. Your, your mic's just too loud. Ah, it wasn't solitary. Hey, uh, call me Ishmael. Turn your mic down for me. All right, uh, it felt like we were in a NASCAR race. Yeah, I don't know. A couple of times ago. Okay, <laughs> so the question is... Um, the question was, is that how do you... Because uh, I was listening to your conversation before you even opened, you know, opening. So I was saying, how do you make your penis more, uh, more sense without being a minimum? Like, instead of having that deck, you know? Well, I don't know how to make it more sensitive. I do know how to make it last longer, and I did that in my um, how yeah, to fuck product. That's also a follow up question. Like other, how do you have? Um, do you have other sexual techniques to keep you know this shit not predictable? Basically, I've got the mental stuff. Train your mind, and you control your body. That's the way I come at it. Uh, I, in my product, I teach people how to control their orgasm, so they can get control of that, so they don't bust. So if they got a problem with, you, you know, you time, have a product for that then, okay. Yeah, that's my how to make women come product. Okay. And I put all the exercises in there. I think and everybody I did, in this I call probably has uh, you, you talk about this match all the time, and I did contact them today, and I'm still, I called a couple of places of Toastmasters, and I'm still waiting to uh, have them call back. But I figured to get involved with something, you know. Good. Excellent. All right, let's add Solitaire back in. There we go. Okay, uh, next question there, fellows. It's 9.14. we got 50, about 15 minutes left. Okay, let me go to Nick, since he's been so patient. Uh, Nick, what's up? Uh, nothing much. I just, uh, well, I, I guess I've got a, uh, a question, unless there's anything you want to go over with real quick. Well, first of all, uh, let's say you did the first week of my, just of my, uh, the lessons are on the coaching side. I haven't put that much in there yet, but uh, uh, how was that for you? Yeah, I, I like it, man. Um, I just went back over them again today. Mm -hmm. You've got a lot of, you've got a lot of uh, information on there, like you said, combined with the, uh, like that other fellow was saying, combined with the uh, confidence kicker videos. Yeah. Um, I really liked it, 
uh, I was kind of following along, like like uh, like you said, like I said in the email, like you was reading my mind basically of what I needed to do, and then and then uh, then gave me more information to back up. Uh, uh, I guess uh, step it out on how to get rid of the fears and stuff like that. Okay. Instead of just me being out there all by myself. I, I don't know. I, I, I like it. Good. That was Thank the you. beginning um, fear stuff that I put in there. Uh, the next, the, the real deep stuff is coming uh, next week, which I'm working okay. on now. So it's, it's, it's going to take me a while to finish it. <clears throat> so <clears throat> when we left off, uh, I've lost touch with you for a couple of days. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, I'll be gone, uh, looks like, Friday, Saturday, and uh, the funeral is this weekend. And, okay. Uh, yeah. So All I won't right. be around. I, I'm going to be speaking at uh, his funeral also. That's one All good right. thing. Toastmaster really comes in handy. It allows you to, in times like this, to step forward and, and deliver a, a really good speech. I've done it mm -hmm. for my little brother. I've done it for my dad. And, uh, you know, if I go to a, a funeral, I, I can speak instead of say something without getting all nervous and fearful. So uh, catch me up on where we're at. Uh, as far as uh, dating situation or yes, just with that. going out? Uh, let's start with the dating because you had uh, go and get a phone number last time I talked to you. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> and I uh, actually asked the girl to, or told <clears throat> I, I said, let's, let's go ahead and have coffee or I actually texted her a few times. Uh, she said she was working. And she texted me back, and I said, "Well, let's have coffee the next day." And uh, I never got a text back, so I just didn't bother with it no more. That was that was the second time that it that it happened like that. So yeah. I said, "Forget it." I agree with that. Second time that she's kind of flaky. Uh, let's, yeah. Let's set our goal for getting two numbers this weekend. So oh, we yeah. have more to work with. Okay. I actually, I've got a, uh, I'm going out with a girl that, uh, I see that sound, Nick sounds country as hell. <laughs> uh, you know, I was saying the same thing, but I wasn't going to say anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It's all right. I just think of the guy off the of with the wind. <laughs> and it's all slam, brother. I'm not slamming you, man. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. um, but anyway. Uh, I've got a, I'm going out to dinner with a girl I I should have laid with. Yeah. Uh, that I got back to her apartment, everything like that. I just it was before I I uh, started with you mm -hmm. and uh, joined your site and everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to go back out with her tomorrow. I'm just wondering how you'd handle this tomorrow. I sh I should have I should have laid down with her that night. I kissed her on the bed. I don't know what happened. I asked my uncle, you know, what you want in something of your program. It it said, uh, ask somebody like I'm, I'm a real man, what what's your fears or what's uh -huh. messing you up? Yeah, ask somebody. Yeah, uh, and he said basically he thought it, it's something I'm finding something wrong with him or um, I'm finding something wrong with him that or I'm doing something that's messing me up. And that's that's what I, I, you know, I'm on the dance floor. I get them back to their room. I make out with them. I'm filling them up. Then something just fucks up. Okay. I, I don't know how. Question. Are you afraid that you're not good enough in bed? Um, not enough that it would show. No. -uh. Do you have no, a fear? No. -uh. Okay. Uh, what do you think is, is stopping you? Uh, one thing. I've thought about to myself, I just need to relax them a little bit and just make them feel comfortable with me and uh, just not taking that next step. Mm -hmm. being, being a little bit too aggressive, I guess. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't or think forceful. you can be. Yeah, you can be too aggressive, but yeah. I'm not sure if that's your problem. Um, well, let's go back to to what you said about you relaxing. Could that yeah. be the whole source of the problem? Because you can't relax, so you kind of get into a tight, uptight state. Mm -hmm. If you were to relax, what would it be like for you? I, I'd have to. Well, one thing, I guess. I guess uh, I'm looking for some wordplay too, some kind of wordplay. Just 
other than just relax or it'll be okay or something like that. Mm-hmm. Well, what's it going to take to get you to, when you're in a situation with a girl, to just start relaxing? What do you think that's going to take? Not <laughs> The next time, I don't think it's going to take too much. It's just going to, it's just going to have me to remind myself I'm going to have to, have to, uh, have to relax a little bit. It's just like a mental cue. Just relax and calm down for a second, I guess. Okay, and then just okay. go a little bit more coolly. Here's, here's a, uh, affirmation for you that's coming mm-hmm. out of my, uh, new program. All right. I'll handle it. That's your affirmation. You start getting nervous, tell yourself, I'll handle it. All uh, right. So then you start working on handling it like a man. All uh, right. Yeah. So next time you get nervous, start getting nervous, tell yourself, you'll handle it. Because it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You're going to start getting yeah. laid, and the more you get laid, you'll start relaxing more and more. Just recognize that you got some growing to do. This is your growth time. This is where you fall down, you stub yourself, you get nervous until you finally grow towards like no big deal. You know, getting into bed because it will become no big deal. So I want you to look into the future. Let's say you, you start working on this every day for the next year. Just think about where you're going to be a year from now, how easy it's going to be. And that's your, that's your future goal. That's where you want to get to. That's where you're going. So no, that's going to come to you. You'll be like that soon enough. So that. I used to be like that. I don't, I used to, I used to show some light of that. It's just been a while since I've, I've been caught up with other shit in my lifetime. I can I can look back at it and remember that. With I mean I can count the amount of women I've been on both hands, but but uh, I remember being like that. So. It comes it goes around comes around, but we're gonna get you like that permanently. So let's start working for that one. So I want you to get back in front of a girl's face as quickly as possible. So in that same situation, we gotta put. So you're in that same situation until you learn and teach yourself how to relax. As far as tomorrow, though, how would you handle tomorrow being I could have been with this girl? Just play it cool. How would I handle it? Okay. See where, what happens? Or First of all, where are you going to meet at? We're going to go get some dinner, maybe some Indian or something like that, Indian food. Oh, brother. Well, first of all, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be going on a date. That's you would? No, I, I'd no. have her come by, bring me some food, but that's me. Okay, so. Go on the date. I gotta think like a dater now. Fuck. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> I can change this. No, 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 no. I would just stick to what's what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, go on the date and try to sit next to her mm. instead of across from her. Because I, I want you to try to. Have you kissed her yet? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Okay. You, you, you know, you know, no problem then. Okay. So kiss her over the whole meal. Give her lots of kisses during the whole meal. Okay. Look in the eyes, the old romantic shit, you know, over the whole meal. Kiss her every now and then. And, uh, when the, you know, when it's over, uh, take her by the hand, you know, pay for the, you're gonna pay, right? Or is she gonna pay? We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I plan on it, but yeah. Okay, well, n- normally guys pay on the date. Yeah. Unless the date girls offer to go halfway. I do remember that. Mm-hmm. So anyway, um, you know, throw your money down. And grab by the hand. You gotta, you gotta become a leader now. So when you stand up, you know, reach your hand back for her and pull her and say, let's, let's go back to her place. She has her own place? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go back to your place. And then turn and start walking to the door. All right. Okay. That should get you laid. You can thank me tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. I appreciate it. All right. Make a holler my name. Well, 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 well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, no beans. No, I know, man. No, I know. Best of luck to you, Nick. No, right, no beans. Uh, trainer. Okay, let's see. We got six minutes. Any more questions? Welcome, Walter. What's up? Yeah, what's up with you, man? Not much, man. Um, I do have a question. Oh, yeah. Um, basically, uh, I went down and helped it like, protecting my voice and got me to, like, helping me protect my voice and stuff like that. Protect his voice? No, sir. You said protect your voice? Yeah, like, projecting my voice. Better. Oh, projecting your voice. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, for, I thought he's protecting. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. No, 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 no. Protecting my voice. Yeah. Projecting, yes. You know, I taught aerobics for a long time, and I learned to project my voice. 
But uh, if you Google how to project your voice, I'm sure you'll find some great exercises for that. It's real easy. Yeah. You have to learn to speak to your, from your diaphragm. From the yeah. diaphragm. I took a course on how to do that, and they had us do these exercises where we had to learn to talk to the diaphragm and be able to be heard. It was an acting course. Heard a whisper in an entire theater. And if you Google some of the exercises, I'm sure you'll find some good stuff out there that will teach you how to project your voice. Why are you trying to project your voice? It's just like, uh, listen, if I be coming to the TV and saying, like, they can't really hear me sometimes. Ah, okay, okay. So you need to, yeah. Yeah. That, a lot of that comes from your personality, too, and you got to learn to step up and be more aggressive. But, yeah, projection should help you get that out also, get your voice yeah. stuck. Yep. Okay. I, I look it up. All right, then, brother. Uh, next question. We got four minutes, so let's uh, get through this real fast. No, I got one. But no. solitaire D. I saw your light yeah. light up. Oh uh, yeah. Um, what about the uh, the trinity? Like this is where it gets really confusing. Like I know you told me before that like there's a difference between trinity and like with the girl just looking at you because of movement. Uh, I understand you. Like you answered the question already earlier. Uh, from the, one of the YouTube questions from earlier. So, like, is it really just a matter of stepping up just to find out, like, how the work is going? Because, like, like, not every girl that, that, will, that, will, that will be chilling is going to look at, like, for two seconds eye contact. Like, sometimes most of the time we probably do the one because I understand girls can be really subtle so, like, when it comes to children. Yes, they can, and most girls will at least make one second of eye contact. If they're too shy, you don't want to fuck with them anyway. They're gonna, it's gonna take you forever getting the pussy. So two seconds, that's a, that's a bold type of female. Uh, she's a little bit on the bold side. That's the type you can, you can get. That's why I use two seconds. But one second works also. Uh, one second of eye contact direct in the eyes. That's how you tell if she's truly interested. Women will not look you in your eyes if they're not interested. They'll look in your direction. And it's really a simple, uh, knowledge of knowing who really likes you? Who doesn't? Can you offer some some advice to Jovina? You know, if a woman likes you, she's going. She, you yeah, can tell. You can tell. You can tell. She's giving you that look of interest. You know, it's a look of interest. No, but actually, how can they tell though? You know, he probably needs to get I my think product. A lot, of, a lot of guys second guess themselves, but yes, you need some help. Yeah, I have that problem too, like at the club. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Go out to the club this weekend, Friday and Saturday. No, I, I, I can't. I, I can't afford it right now. Like, like the best I can do is like maybe out on my daily, just out on like on my daily routine. I just look for shooting and stuff. Okay, so no, wait, wait, wait. What, uh, All right, no, no, hold on. Okay, it, man. Okay. Now, what you got to do? Okay. Go to a hotel lobby bar. Oh, yeah. Those are free. And then you have women, uh, uh, for a Sorry, game. I have to, I, I'm right in the middle. I don't like people interrupting me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Solitaire. Uh, is, is this, are you DL? Yeah, it's me. Okay. Game. Come mm -hmm. oh, back here. All right. Now, DL, we've been talking about this, this whole, you know, nothing choosing thing. What I want you to do is, when you walk around the street, sorry I had to drop you there. I was trying to get some information out to him. You interrupted me. Uh, uh what, what I want you to do is, when you walk around the streets, see if girls start making eye contact with you. It's just a, it's a feeling thing. Become aware. you got to become more aware. Okay. You women struggle with the same issue for about two years now. You had it handled before because you got that one girl. You, you boned her. But ever since you know she, she did what she did, you seem to be stuck. And I need to get you unstuck there, D.L. you got to get yourself unstuck. Yes. Well, that, girl, that girl I met at the club, it wasn't really through eye contact. It was, she, she was just like, Within my space, and she just started grinding up on me. Ah, so what about the first girl? Was there one before that? Oh, the, um, the one I met from playing fish? Yeah, I just met her off playing fish. Yeah, okay. So. And then, and then the last one I met was from online, somewhere else. Okay, we need to get you out of that space you're in and get you to be able to focus outwards because. You and uh, uh, the pun well, the Punisher can see choosing. He chooses not to because they're not the girls he likes. So 
you, you and I think one of the persons still having trouble with that simple concept of when a woman glances at you, why don't you go and find out she's interested? That's my point. Just step over and find out. So wherever you're at, if you're at a bar, you're at the, the bowling alley, you're in a library, if a woman looks your direction, I just want you to step over and find out and see if they're truly interested. Okay? That way you learn to develop that skill of being able to spot choosing. Then you'll be able to tell when the girls are truly interested. So every time you see a girl look at you, from now on, step over and find out if they're interested. Now, Kane, hey, you have, you have some advice you want to offer? Well, like whether or not it's two seconds or one second, just step over. Right? Step over. I, I don't care what it is. I want you to step over and find out. Well, you're breaking up. I can't really hear you. Okay. I don't care if it's one second or two seconds. I want you to step over and find out. Because I want you to learn the skill of being able to tell when a girl's interested in you. I want us to get past this block, this, this psychological thing that's where you can't see it. So you could tell when a girl's interested. Well, so you know, every female... I don't, accept, I, don't, I don't accept the concept of being able to I, like, I accept it completely. It's, I, I, like, I can't hear you. Yeah, just most of the time, I, I, I find it so kind of hard to spot, like whether or not if she's just looking my way or if you know what I mean, or just... Okay, you said you don't accept something? I didn't say that, no. Oh, okay. It's, 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 it's just kind of boring. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like whether or not if she's just looking at my direction or, or if she's yeah. really Okay, so in the future, I want you to go find out. Okay? So just step over and then Step over. If she glances in your direction, I'm not going to tell this to anyone else. Okay? Just you. If they glance in your direction, I want you to step over and find out. Okay? Okay. Okay. Dane, you have some advice for the brother. Uh, what do you want to say to him? Um, no, well, you know what? I was uh, speaking to somebody saying that uh, they can't go out to the club. You yeah, know what? That's uh, solid when, when I was right here on your forum, you remember I had fucking some ghetto-ass internet connection. No job for three years. Oh, I had good. nothing, okay? I hooked up on plenty of fish. I went to hotel lobby bars. Uh, I did what I had to do, and also I have no college education, you know, and uh, it's like, Supreme is right. A lot of it is in our mind, guys. Uh, you just got to go out there, you know. It's like, and the whole eye contact thing, I know, I feel you, bro. I've been there, and I'm still kind of there, but... Just do it, man. I mean, you know, it's going to suck the first couple of times, you know, but is it worth you, like, beating yourself over the head wondering what if? It's like, be uh, be resourceful is the word I want to say to you. Just be resourceful. Again, the brief could vouch for me. I used to get clowned by the guys about my ghetto Internet connection, but I made it happen, you know? <laughs> okay. I do remember those days, and... We're all done for the evening there, fellas. So I want to thank you for the productive conference call. Uh, next time, Jail, give me a question, though, and I'll see you guys uh, next Wednesday, probably. we all done for the day. Peace, fellas. All right, guys. Have a good night. All right. Yeah, see you. Okay. Well, that's our show for the day, fellas. Hope you enjoyed the conference call. Uh, yeah, when people start interrupting, I'm going to just start, you know, cutting them out. So I can get my word across. I don't want to have to yell over somebody. That's kind of rude when they, you know, I'm talking and they interrupt. I realize people want to get their word in, all that kind of stuff. But what they got to remember is that I'm the one that's teaching. Peace.